Okay, so we already finished the Pear Deck part now with the other parts of notes, and make sure you put your class period. Uh, and then this actually shows you a proof, which we'll talk about first, and then these are just uh, additional uh, vocab questions. So the first thing is it says, how can you prove the converse of the same side interior? Uh, they are given three and five are supplementary, and you want to prove that these lines are parallel. So the transversal in this case would be um, this line. The transversal has to touch the two angles, and then the parallel lines form the other part. So if you talk about um, a in the transversal, that forms 3. And if you talk about B in the transversal, that forms 5. Okay, um, so what we're doing is given 3 and 5 are supplementary. And then 3 and 1 would be supplementary from a linear pair. I'm just going to put LP. Um, and that's linear pair. So a linear pair has supplementary angles. Remember a linear pair is basically um, adding two angles to make a straight line. And the straight line adds up to 180 degrees. And so one and three are supplementary. Um, the next part says um, recognize that supplements of the same angle are congruent. In other words, we have three supplementary to five and three supplementary to one. And so think about your threes canceling. Think angle three cancels um, from subtraction um, or substitution from subtraction um, or substitution, depending on how the problem is laid out. Uh, and so we have angle one and five are congruent. Think angle three cancels from subtraction or substitution. Okay, so then what you do is you look at what type angles 1 and 5 are and their corresponding angles because you have one exterior and one interior. And so um, this says if corresponding angles are congruent, lines are parallel, um, and we have A and B parallel. Now sometimes we may just say converse of corresponding. Converse of corresponding. But again, sometimes they actually write out the definition. Okay, so that's basically the left side, which is explaining the proof, which was basically done for you already. Any questions about the left side? Okay, uh, the right side says, what does converse mean? Uh, converse is when you switch when you switch the hypothesis, the hypothesis and conclusion of the original statement, but I'm not going to write the of the original statement. So it's basically when you switch the hypothesis and the conclusion. So what we've talked about before in another lesson is you had your conditional, which is P to Q. Uh, then you have your converse, which is Q to P. So you're basically switching them. Uh, remember, your inverse would be in the same order as this, and it'd be not P to not Q. And your contra positive is not Q to not P. So um, those are things we talked about before. Uh, so in our lesson, all we're talking about is the converse. So just switch your hypothesis and conclusion. Uh, the next part says, what does the given part mean? 
It's information listed in the problem statement. Information listed in the problem statement. Information listed in the problem statement. So in our example, it says given, and then there's a colon, and then you have that. And again, um, also use the drawing also use the drawing. Like for example, I know six and seven are vertical angles, five and eight are vertical angles, and so forth. <clears throat> so when we're doing the proof, we also use um, that part. Um, number three, what are supplementary angles? Um, they're angles that add to 180. Angles that add to 180 um, or form a straight angle. Like straight line. So in our case, um, we have one and three, which are a linear pair. And the definition of linear pair is it's um, supplementary and adjacent. Supplementary and adjacent is a linear pair. I'm putting LP, supplementary, and adjacent. Okay, number four, um, what does that symbol stand for? It's the equal with the wavy line, and that's just congruent, congruent, C-O-N-G-R-U-E-N-T, congruent. Uh, and then it says, how do corresponding angles correspond with each other? Uh, they are in corresponding locations. They are in corresponding locations. Um, where the parallel lines meet the transversal. Um, they are in corresponding locations, um, period. I'm going to put, um, just remember, one is exterior and one is interior. One is exterior and one is interior. So they are on the same side of the transversal just like same side interior, but the difference is those have both interior and this is one exterior and one interior. So on the reteaching, here's your um, postulates and theorems, and you can read through that. And uh, these are alternate exteriors, so they set them equal and solve. So what we do for number one, um, it says which lines or line segments are parallel, justify your answers. We look at where um, the angles are that are marked and then I darken this line that touches both angles, which is our transversal. So that's our transversal, um, which is DB. Or you could reverse it as BD. Because remember from the first week of school, you can reverse them as long as they're not rays. <clears throat> if they're rays, you can't. But if they're segments or lines, you can. Uh, so that's your transversal, and so we have AB and CD are parallel. So AB parallel to CD. Uh, remember, as you first look at it, you can have AB as a line, CD as a line, CA as a line, or DB as a line. 
but in this case, our transversal is the DB, and so we want A, B, and C, D. So that's your answer. Any questions? Okay, the next one has these equal, um, and so X, Y, with a bar over it, uh, is your transversal. And so because of that, uh, WX, which I'm going to call a line because that has the arrows, is parallel to YZ. So XY is the transversal, and WX and YZ are the, um, the parallel lines. So now they've gone from four lines to two lines and a bunch of segments, and now all they have is segments on number three. So um, the angles that are marked are there. So this is your transversal. QO is the transversal. And uh, they left off the letter P, which goes right there. Um, now it cannot be um, QP with NO because that'd be the bottom angle here and the top angle there. And so it's going to be QN, QN parallel to PO. So remember, your angle is formed from your transversal and parallel line. So it's QN parallel to PO. Um, the next one, what we're doing is setting these equal because they're corresponding. So first thing I'm going to do is write corresponding. Remember we've said corresponding is when you're skipping an angle and one's exterior and one's interior. In this case, both are obtuse angles, so you're going to set those equal. 126 equal 2x plus 16. And then this is the algebra part where you subtract 16 from both sides. So you get um, 110 equal 2x, and so x is 55. And then it also wants the measure of each uh, labeled angle, and so this would be 126 also. If you want to substitute it in, you can to check 2 times 55 is 110, and then add 16 gives you 126. So um, that's how you do number four. Any questions? Okay, the next one, uh, these are same side interior because they're on the same side of the transversal and both are interior. So do we set these equal or equal to 180? Equal to 180 because they're supplementary. Remember, if it's same side interior or exterior, it'd be supplementary. So we do uh, 6x plus 20x minus 2 equal 180. Also, a very easy way to remember on this example is it wouldn't make sense to set these equal because 6 times something and 20 times something are going to be very different for the numbers. 6 times something is going to be smaller than 20 times something because all we're doing is subtracting 2. So these you add up to 180. Uh, and again, remember we said act like this is a brick wall. And so you don't do negative 2 plus 180. So we have 26x minus 2 equal 180. And then we add 2 to both sides. And on that, um, 180 divided by 26 Oh, I'm sorry, 182. I didn't add that right. I just ignored that. Um, this is 182. Uh, 182 divided by 26 is 7. Okay. 
And so when you do 6 times 7 for this angle, you get 42 degrees. And for the other one, you can plug in 20 times 7 uh, minus 2, uh, which gives you 138. And remember, as a check, you could have said um, 180 minus 42 also gives you 138. Any questions or comments? Okay, now these um, have this as your transversal, and these are far away, and they're on opposite sides of the transversal. Um, so this would be alternate exterior. Alternate exterior. And so in that case, you set them equal. Uh, the easy way to remember it is if it says alternate, you put equal, and if it says same side, you add to 180, and then corresponding would be equal. Um, so this one, you're going to have 3x plus 6 equal 4x minus 18, or if you'd rather work with it on this side, 4x minus 18 equal 3x plus 6, um, then I think it's going to look a little cleaner. Uh, you're going to subtract 3x from both sides and then add 18 to both sides so you get 24. <clears throat> um, then we just have to plug in, so 3 times 24 plus 6 um, gives you 78. So both of these should be 78 if we did it right. Four times 24 plus, I'm sorry, minus 18 um, does give us 78 like we were expecting. Any questions? Okay. Um, then this part you can read through again. It's talking about a flow proof with the arrows. And uh, this one only had one input, but then this part had two inputs going to this. And uh, we're basically given multiple choice parts here, and we got to use that to fill in the blank. Um, so what we start with is given L parallel to M. Uh, which is basically C. Um, they kind of um, don't just want you to put C here uh, because they have a oval and this, so they want L parallel to M and then put given. But that's basically using C. The next thing is they've got a short oval and a longer oval and uh, we need to use the short one, which is about um, about one and three being corresponding. So angle one congruent to angle three corresponding, um, which is B. And then the bigger blank is about um, if we have one congruent to three and two congruent to three, sorry, two congruent to three, I'm sorry, two and three supplementary, two and three are supplementary. Um, that's from the same side interior because they're on the same side of the transversal. Uh, so that's SS int, same side interior. And then our last one, um, our last one um, is going to be about one and two. Um, or supplementary.
and I just did that backwards. Okay, so um, I need to cancel this.